Mm. This is a performance. This is a pop yeah. star socialist trying to get street cred for the slogan, but also wanting to hang out with celebrities. Well, if you've been awake at any point over the past 24 hours, you've probably seen the picture of Sandy Cortez showing up at a $30,000 a head gala in New York wearing a dress that says tax the rich across the back. So Cortez claims she wore the outfit to start a conversation about what it means to be a, quote, working class woman of color and not at all she would stare at a picture of her butt. That's her view. The dress seen round the world and a protest that was less seen. Yep, we're talking about the Met Gala. Shocking no one, Tucker Carlson and the Fox News gang gave a disingenuous and frankly gross analysis of AOC's tax the rich dress worn at the Met Gala. Everyone and their mother has an opinion on the dress, some more thought out than others. While the Fox hosts are making millions of dollars regularly regurgitating sexist commentary with little political analysis, many on the left applauded AOC's outfit choice. I think the dress was a good thing. I'm not effusive about it, but I think political theater in any form is positive. Personally, I would she'd gone a bit farther with the message. As many pointed out, tax the rich is a watered down version of the famous and more threatening slogan, eat the rich. And as this Twitter user pointed out, donations to museums are tax deductible and museums are tax exempt. So the message doesn't quite account for those holes in our system. In my opinion, it didn't go far enough, but that doesn't mean it wasn't in many ways effective. A message you may have missed were the protests of Black Lives Matter activists outside of the gala. They were focused on calling to defund the police, specifically targeting Mayor Bill de Blasio, who was inside. They were ironically, but unsurprisingly, met with tremendous force from the New York Police Department, who were protecting all the rich and famous inside. I think AOC could have gone a little farther with her messaging, but I'm grateful for her statement nonetheless. Just today, she introduced a bill to extend the pandemic unemployment benefits that just expired, so it's clear the dress isn't the only thing doing the work. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.